You're watching NCAA on campus. I'm Kat Anderson in Atlanta on the campus of Oglethorpe University. This is where I went to college and I have to tell you, those were the seven best years of my life. Just kidding. I made it in less than four years, but they were definitely great. We're a small school with just about 1100 students, but Oglethorpe has a long history chartered in 1835, closed during the Civil War, closed down again in 1872, this time because of financial difficulties. Apparently the school had made some investments with Bernie Madoff, but in 1913 Oglethorpe reopened and has been going strong ever since. Oglethorpe is the home of the Crypt of Civilization, one of the world's most complete time capsules. The idea to preserve the history of civilization was that of legendary Oglethorpe president, Dr. Thornwell Jacobs. The crypt was sealed in 1940 under seven feet of concrete and behind a stainless steel door. It's not to be opened for 6,000 years. For the fascinating story of the crypt and a list of its contents, visit the Oglethorpe website. I don't know if they put anything in the crypt about the Oglethorpe golf team, so that responsibility is now mine. Last winter, Golf Digest rated Oglethorpe the number one Division III golf program in the nation based on facilities, academics, player growth, development, and team scoring. For 15 years, the team has been coached by Jim Owen, and for each of the past seven years, he's been named the Conference Coach of the Year. And I guess good things really do happen to good people, because last fall, an exchange student from Iceland came to Oglethorpe and just happened to mention that he played a little golf. This Beyond the Athlete feature is brought to you by Coca-Cola. I was in uh, Reykjavik University attending my first year there, and I was really interested in uh, playing golf abroad and America was a really good venue for that. And um, I went to the international office and checked if they had any exchange student program with any school in America, and they did have one school, and that was Oglethorpe University. He sent an email about two weeks before school started and said, I finally got accepted through the uh, exchange student program and I'll be attending Oglethorpe and I'd like to play with your team. At first they thought I was uh, just some random kid applying to play the golf team. And, and um, Oglethorpe's a really good, strong program, so they obviously thought there was just some kid from Iceland. I saw that email, he sent a resume along with it, and the resume was unbelievable. And you know, nobody's ever as good as their resume. Well, this is the exception to the rule. He was even better than his resume, both on the course and off the course. He proved to be spectacular. I worked for 12 months a year trying to get guys, maybe not even this good, to come here, and here's one that's falling in my lap. So I did not believe uh, what I was reading, and I thought, well, maybe a plus two in Iceland is, you know, a, a two or three over here, and he's going to be a very good fit on our team. Uh, but he's been our number one player all year and has raised the level to where there's two guys now chasing him as a, kind of a new standard. Ollie had the benefit of good genes. Both his parents play golf and his dad is a former national champion of Iceland. But the environment of the island nation also nurtured his skills. We have about 60 golf courses there. It's kind of unique in Iceland that we can play golf all day long during the summer. We have a daylight for probably about 22 hours in June. As a member of the Icelandic Junior World Cup team, Ollie had the opportunity to play throughout Europe and in Australia. What I would tell you he's done with everybody else is he's brought their level up. They have realized what a great short game looks like and said, okay, I now see what I've got to do to play at the level he's playing at. The exchange program is good for only one year, so Coach Owen spread the word and found Ollie a scholarship at another school. Oglethorpe is in uh, Division Three, so they're not able to give me a scholarship, but uh, Division One and Two schools are able to do that. So I talked to the, talked to Coach Owen, and he helped me find some schools that were interested in recruiting me for the next three years. So it took a little bit of selling um, on him because you know here's a Division Three coach calling a Division One coach and kind of saying, "Geez, I've got a guy for you." It took him a while to warm up to that idea, but those that researched it really stepped up and realized that there was something special here. For the next three years, I'm going to play for uh, University of North Carolina Charlotte, which has a really good um, golf program. They were uh, ranked uh, at one point number one in the nation, Division One last year. Before Ollie heads to Charlotte, he'll continue to be part of Oglethorpe's volunteer work with the First Tee program, introducing Atlanta's youngsters to the game of golf. We uh, had a trip to uh, Augusta to watch the practice round of the Masters tournament, and that was 
quite the experience. That was my first time at Augusta, and I'm definitely coming back there, and hopefully I'll be good enough to play at the Masters. Currently, we have uh, one Icelandic professional on the European Tour, but we've never had any player in the PGA Tour, so that would be a lot of fun to be the first Icelandic uh, golfer on the PGA Tour.